Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing before you leave. Um, I do a little bit of everything over here, mainly wig reviews and hair content, but I also do makeup, do fashion content, and I'm going to be doing more home decor and stuff like that on my channel. So please subscribe and turn on your notifications. That way you can be a part of Premiere Squad where we watch videos together and we live chat about it. So yeah and shout out to my premiere squad for watching this with me right now or if you're catching the replay thank you so much for watching so in today's video it's going to be a little bit different than my wig reviews because we are going to be taking a trip down memory lane today so this video was inspired by a few comments i got on my channel i think it was my outre isabella video um i think i had this lady she commented that she have she had been wearing outre's brianne to work but she got tired of laying the lace down every morning and everything. So I was like, when I was teaching, which was from 2016 to the middle of 2018, synthetic frontal wigs were not out yet. So all the wigs that I used to wear to work every day were simple, easy, beginner friendly, affordable, simple part wigs. So I used to wear free dress Hania a lot. I used to wear free dress Hania a whole lot. I wanted to go back and find some of my wigs that I used to wear back in the day and see if I like them again and see if I recommend those same wigs to you guys in 2021. So some of these wigs are from 2014, 2015, 16, 17. Um, I don't have any recent wigs because I wanted to see what the older wigs were hitting for. So this video was supposed to go up in I think the beginning of May. But um, I did realize these, some of these wigs are older wigs, so they're hard to find in certain colors. Some of the wigs, they only have a few colors. So if they are hard to find, I'll have recommendations of alternatives that you can, you know, get instead. They'll either be mentioned in the video or in the description box. So make sure you read the description box or read the pinned comment because it's going to be... It's gonna have more information there for you guys. But I'm excited to try these wigs again because some of these I haven't worn since I originally reviewed them. And I'm better with my I'm better with my wigs so I can incorporate techniques that I use now with like my current day wigs with some of the wigs that I used that I tried back in the day. So all of the wigs I have in this video are going to be wigs I've tried except for one of them. And I'll mention that, you know, when we get to that segment. So this is going to be a very chatty video, so get comfortable, fold some clothes, eat something, get you a snack, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, first up, I want to do, I'm going to do Daria first. Let's see what side part. She is a right side part wig. Let's see what this cap feels like. Cause I don't remember at all. I haven't bought this wig in probably four years. Oh, it's very comfortable. Yes, be kid friendly. So I went ahead and flat ironed around the parting space because it was buckling at the top. It was very thick. So this is the length on Daria. It's a nice work wig. It's about um, maybe 10 to 12 inches up and I'm six feet tall so I've been mentioning my height for years on my channel because with bobs if you are taller you probably have a longer neck so it's gonna fall on you differently so I'm just plopping this on my head and this is what it looks like nice movement gorgeous yakky texture very thick I love the movement on this okay so as you can see it's not gonna give you hairline because this is not what that is not what we were doing back then and that's not what we needed so actually this cap is so big that i'm actually going going to adjust the straps it's actually big i can actually wear a wig grip with this one because it is sliding back i'm gonna find my wig grip might take a while and then i'll come back okay i actually found my wig grip pretty pretty quickly i already like that this is a big head friendly cap see this is what i'm talking about like the part of space is flat, flat right now without any adhesive. So, but we still want to make this look more realistic because that part in space is, you know, very perfect and that's not what we want. So I am going to widen my part in space just a little bit more because it's kind of tight still at the front. 
I'm not gonna do too much. I twirl it around my fingers, so about three strands, and then I just pull. Okay, so that is laying flat. So I want to make the hairline look a bit more natural. So I am going to pull out some of my edges, have them show a little bit. Again, if you don't have the edges to do this, you don't have to do it if you suffer from hair loss. But it does make it look more natural when you do a little bit of your edges out. Otherwise, the hairline is gonna just look too perfect. Or you can just sit it behind your hairline a little bit. And I'm not doing a whole lot, just my edges. Let's get a little bit more right here. So I'm gonna put some powder in my parting space. I'm using the Black Radiance Soft Focus Powder in Golden Almond Finish. If you're somebody who doesn't wear makeup, I've, I've gotten people say, I don't wear makeup, what makeup should I put in my parting space? If you are a woman of color, Black Radiance is an affordable makeup brand and they have a variety of different um, powders for your complexion. So you can just kind of guesstimate when you're in the store because with powders you don't have to be a dead on color match with my part i just use the color that's the same color as my face some people um go lighter but i just like going with my same shade and it saves on having to buy something extra Now, if you're trying to give hairline and scalp, then go with the modern day wigs like, you know, Outre Melted Hairline or What Lace Collection and stuff like that. But if you're just somebody, you're not trying to do all that. You want a simple part wig that looks natural. Because really and truly with these kind of wigs, it's more like a closure. And when you go outside, you're not going to get clocked with a whole, you know, your lace, your 13 by 6 looking, you know, like... A scab on your forehead because it doesn't blend well so and this is a beautiful lens so this was a dupe for model models dream that I loved back in 2016 I think I think um, and they discontinued that but this is a great work wig everyday wig the way that I have this now looks even better than I how I used to wear it back then we have a little bit of a layer situation here this is still popping today I think this is still cute and this is a wig that I would still wear four years later it's just beautiful it as a thick it's thick but um because of the length it's not gonna be as you know bad as if it was you know a lot longer than this this is gorgeous. Let me see how much it is right now. Because I don't think I've paid too much for it. Oh my gosh! This wig right now on Sam's Beauty is only $19.99. That's really, really good. And y'all see this texture. Like, I know we be we went crazy when Altre dropped um, the Nisha collection. But they were doing this texture before then. It just was, you know, I don't know. It was always popular to me. I always loved the yakky texture because it looked like my hair. 
yes i feel like this is a wig i'm actually gonna keep in my collection and not sell because it's easy and i think it looks good it just looks like a closure wig and it's big head friendly i like this for twenty dollars now a lot of the colors are out of stock so this is really the only color i saw left but if you're into 1b30s then pick this up i feel like this is really nice if i can find other websites that still carry this wig i'll definitely link it down below but yes outre daria is still a winner in 2021 and a simple everyday wig that i feel like is good to be in your collection so let's move on to see if free trust janie is still good in 2021 so we're gonna move on to free trash Janie so um, I had to do a lot more work with Janie Janie came out in 2015 so this is really really old um, but she was everything back then and that was like the wig that everybody loved and so did I um, I did wear this to work as well but at the time in 2015 I was student teaching but I still bought her and wore her when I was teaching so I'm going to assume this cap is small which is why I took my wig grip off um the lace was hard as i told you guys and i had to tweeze the parting space up a lot so i feel like daria is more beginner friendly all you have to do with daria really is um use your hot your hot comb to make sure it's nice and flat and not puckering around the parting space at the back and it looks amazing um i just showed adrian he said it looks like it's your hair and uh yeah no you know men don't know that much about wigs and stuff but they do know if it looks good or not so he said he he thought it looked like my hair oh it's not that uncomfortable so this wig naturally has a v in the parting space because it split when i was um putting it on my mannequin head my mannequin head is 23 inches in circumference so i was like this might be small then so this is my kind of length right here. Ugh, I love this kind of length and it's black. Ugh. I used to get like the, I used to have a black one and then I used to have uh, like a 27 color. I used to have OP430 and I think I tried 27 one time too. So let's get her together. Already off the bat, I remember this also had a really nice yakky texture. Yaki Texture Synthetic Wigs did not come out with Outre Nisha like the 201s and all that stuff. They have been around for a long time. They just really popularized it um, a couple years ago. So this has beautiful layers in it, a slight bump at the end, but not so much of a bump to where it looks dated. I'm going to have to do some things to the, the front of the parting space though because mine split and i'm gonna have to fix that because it's a little bit too wide a piece is just kind of hanging there so hopefully i don't have to use any adhesive but i'm just going to use my got to be glued free spray i'm just going to use my wig grip then hopefully it'll lay flat this cap to me is a medium cap it's not as small as i was thinking if you watch my original review i don't even know what size cap i said it was you'll have to watch that one my head <laughs> is you know bigger than it was back in 2015 so i might have called it a big cap but today it's a medium and if you don't know how to cut lace on your wig i do have a standalone video for that i'll link that on the info card all right so like I said, this is a simple part wig. It is not going to be giving you hairline. If you want to give hairline and frontal effect, go with some of the newer wigs. But this is not what we're going for here. We are going for a nice closure style part and that's it. So I have my hot comb here that I'm going to let heat up a little bit because I feel like I don't like how this part is. I need to fix that. The lace to me is not as flat as I want it to be even though this lace is hard I'm going to bring out some of my edges with this wig just like I did with the first one 
always do what's best for your hairline i'm going to repeat that in all of my videos because everybody has different um hairlines and circumstances as far as hair loss so you don't have to take it out if you don't want to but if you can it's always going to look more like it's your hair be careful with this lace because it is so hard it can actually cut your hairline so be very careful with that that's one of the reasons soft lace is better but with hard lace you don't have to necessarily use any got to be glued so i'm just going to take my edge booster a little bit because this is a yakky texture and i don't need i don't necessarily need like super slick edges with a yakky textured wig so i'm not going to use too much So I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to try to zoom in. Like right at the parting space right here, it's lifting a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of got to be glued gel there. And, you know, just to make sure it's flat. I could just do eyeshadow right there as well. All right. I'm just going to take a little bit of got to be glued gel and put it around my parting space right there because it's lifting a little bit. So this one is taking a lot more effort than Daria, but you know, it's a two year difference in when I reviewed these. So this one is, you know, way older. So it didn't have as much of the advancements and everything. Now this is definitely not as hard as like gluing down a whole hairline. I'm just making sure that one piece of lace is not sticking up. And it's just, right there all right this is heated up this is my andis hot comb and i have it on like five a pretty low heat setting and i'm just going in at the front because i wasn't liking how the front was laying i don't know if i was using a hot comb back in the day on my synthetic wigs All right, might hit the front of the parting space just with a little got to be glued. So I didn't have to cut a V into this lace because it ripped when I was, you know, preparing it and stuff. But cutting a V into your lace is helpful if you want like a, a seamless transition in your parting space. I made a video on how to do that back in 2018 if you guys would like to watch that. free trust Janie I got her together and everything so I'm looking on Sam's Beauty for Altre Daria and I don't see the color I have anymore the only color I saw was DX 425 and I think that's like a red mix so I'm still gonna put this video up because there's other you know wigs that look like Altre Daria like a recent one is the stylist Sheree or Sheree I haven't reviewed that wig, but I've seen um, other people do it. I've seen it on Kyra Shawn, and I saw it on somebody else, but most notably, I saw it on Kyra Shawn. So, if you can't find Daria, because it's so old, a lot of these wigs are discontinued, but they, Free Trust probably will never discontinue Janie because it's just like a classic wig, but Altre Daria is gorgeous, and I wanted to show you guys, even though you can't find it really, 
um i still wanted to show you guys you can go back to older wigs and purchase them because you can finesse them and bring them into you know the current years so with free trust Janie, i still recommend picking her up because she is gorgeous um she has great a great yakky texture the style is giving throwback aliyah vibes um it's a nice bump on it has nice layers nice yakky texture the cap is actually not too small i thought it was going to be really small but it's not um the pardon space though the pardon space needed a lot of work um, it's not going to look super, super natural like a lot of the, you know, synthetic wigs these days. But for $25, well, actually, depending on the website, you can get this wig for $20 as well, which is a steal. And I think this is a beautiful everyday kind of look that I think is classic because this wig is super old. It came out in 2015. That's almost, you know, I reviewed this like July of 2015. So it's coming up on six years and it still looks very good. And I feel like it looks even more, you know, natural because I, you know, I took out my edges a little bit and I, I'm more advanced at laying my wigs now, regardless if it's a frontal or a simple part wig to make it work for me and make it look as natural as possible. So, um, if you can, if I'll have some links down below, if I can find Daria anywhere, um, it probably won't be in the same color as I have because it's an old wig. A lot of older wigs are discontinued and that's, you know, one reason a lot of us don't review like super old wigs because a lot of them get discontinued. But yeah, if I can find alternatives for you as well, I put those down below. But don't sleep on the throwback wigs from five, six years ago because some of them really brought it and look really nice. this wig styled and everything it was a very easy install i'm hoping all of these are going to be easy installs and i don't have to use any got to be glued or anything um because really and truly if i'm just running errands or working or something or something on the weekend or like i said when i was teaching i didn't fool with got to be glued like that i just put i just blended my part and went to work free trust equals freedom part lace front wig and I'll probably try to find out when this wig came out. I'm pretty sure it was like 2018, maybe 2017. Um, but I never tried this wig. This is the only wig that I haven't tried that I'm featuring in this video. With this wig, you can wear it as a middle part, side part. You can wear it as a middle part, a right side part, a left side part. Um, so it's going to be good for everybody. Um, the cap size to me is quite comfortable. It's, it's I'm going to say it's probably a medium cap. I'm not going to say it has... An excess amount of room in it or anything I am not experiencing like any any shedding really and my hands are gliding right through it this is a really nice lightweight wig right here so I feel like you could wear this during the summer and not burn up but to me it's not too long to where you couldn't wear this every day not to me I feel like this is like 16 to 18 inches long and I'm six feet tall you guys see how it looks so I wanted to get the OP430 color because I think it is such a nice subtle color to get. I did cut a V into the lace just so it was a better transition from, 
you know, my, my skin to the pardon space. So I feel like these wigs are gonna be really good for people who loved my headband wig videos and that's how you found me. But you wanna get into more like lace, lace wigs or wigs that have, you know, more coverage than just, you know, a half wig or a headband wig. So um, it's super easy. All that I did really to make this wig look natural was I put powder in my pardon space, of course, and I just used the powder that I use for my face. So I'm gonna switch it to the side. I am a right side part girl, but I can wear it either way. So I'm just gonna shift it and see what this side part is hitting for. Oh, I might even like it more as a side part. I took some pictures already, but I might take some more. Just taking out my edges a little bit so it looks more natural. And I'm gonna take my She Is Bomb Edge Control. All of the supplies I'm using will be in my Amazon storefront. Shout out to everybody who continues to shop it. So I'm gonna take my edge brush and just lay my edges. Ooh, I think it looks so much more natural now on the side. Okay, so we're gonna clean up that part and make it look more natural. This is cute, like for real, for real. Okay. And all these wigs are gonna be super affordable as well. This wig is giving for real. This is cute. I know y'all see this, this is cute. Yes, I'm feeling this in this OP430 with the subtle brown here for it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna rate this just, you know, I'm feeling this a lot. I would actually reach for this every day because this is what I'm gonna be wearing when I'm not filming. I know I give you guys frontals and blending down and melting lace, but on the weekends, I'm wearing a head wrap or I'm wearing a simple part wig. And I feel like I look so like, fresh and natural with this okay i'm gonna give this like a nine and a half i like this wig a lot i can't believe i never tried it because i am partial to straight wigs and then this has layers you know even on the as a side part this is really cute and for the left side part ladies you can shift it too it's just gonna be on the left side it's just i'm just gonna show you guys the middle and the right side part She's a winner, okay? Simple part wig, you can wear it every day, affordable. I'm here for this. So for the next wig, we have um, Model Model's Blue Meadow and OM27 P. So I had to get Blue Meadow because Blue Meadow is one of those wigs on my channel that a lot of people found me from that review that I did way back in 2016. And I was feeling myself so much with Blue Meadow and I have bought her so many times. I thought she was discontinued, but I did, I did find her um, I don't know what, what website, I'll check and see, but some websites carry older wigs, like Sam's Beauty carries a lot of older wigs, so does Diva Tress. So, um, I've shopped on some of those websites because they carry the older wigs. Wig types kind of just carries like the best sellers and the most current wigs. They kind of do away with like the older ones unless it's a best seller. Um, so check Sam's Beauty. Diva Tress, and I have seen a lot of older wigs on Glamour Tress as well. Um, so I love Blue Meadow so much, I consider it wearing her to my wedding. I wore her for my engagement pictures way back in 2017. So I, you know, I love Blue Meadow, and I've tried her in several colors. Well, I've tried her in two colors. 
I tried her in a two. I used to wear the two all the time and I used to wear OM430, OM430P all the time. But this time I tried something different. I wanted to try OM27P, which is beautiful. It has like a lighter, it starts off with a dark root, which is like a number, like a number two or maybe a 1B. Then it goes into this lighter brown and then it fades into this more chocolate brown at the bottom. It has barrel curls and a swoop. That's kind of like my signature and it has been for a long time. So what I noticed with a lot of the um, lace part wigs I'm featuring, these kind of wigs from like Free Tress and Model Model and stuff, they had dark brown lace back then, but nowadays they have the light lace that we can tint to different shades. So, you know, if you had a deeper complexion back then, it was way easier because all the lace was dark brown or medium to dark brown, but nowadays it's the lighter brown, so we have to, you know, tint the lace, which it used to be an issue for me, but now I know how to get my lace and stuff together. So let's get her together. The cap is very small. And out of the pack, she is not giving. So you have to do some work with these wigs. So I'm going to style her, put some heat on her, and I'll be back with her all styled up. And we'll see how we're feeling about, we'll see how we're feeling about Blue Meadow in 2021. Because it's been a while since I bought this wig. I have applied Blue Meadow and Blue Meadow is still popping in 2021. I try her as a middle part and a side part as you guys saw. The good thing about um, simple part synthetic wigs, you don't have to worry about blending down any lace like on the hairline and making sure it looks good outside. So that's why I'm not doing any sunlight tests because it's gonna look good outside. It is. Um, most of these wigs I am pulling out just a little bit of my edges just so it looks more natural because none of these wigs are gonna, none of these wigs are gonna be serving hairline because it's a simple part wig as I told you guys. So I wanted to bring out just a little bit of my edges just so it looks, so it looks more natural and more like a sew in kind of closure look. And I think it looks really pretty. I personally like the black that I used to wear, but I think this color is pretty too. Everything. And they were giving us color too. I do think colors nowadays are better. Um, especially the colors that Altre carries nowadays. But back in the day, Altre was not giving us a variety of colors. They were giving us like the basic stuff. Back in the day, Model Model and Free Tress were the leading companies when it came to color. Blue Metal is still popping in 2021. I think it's very pretty and a wig I would definitely still wear nowadays. Like, I still like these kinds of styles. Wait, this is thick, y'all. Uh, Blue Metal is a thick one, okay? So she is gonna keep you warm in the winter months and stuff, fall and winter, but she's gonna burn you up in the summertime. But I used to wear her all year round, so it just depends on what you like, but just note she's gonna be hot. She's still popping. She still gets high ratings for me in 2021. I'm gonna give her still like a 9, 10 because there is nothing wrong with her at all. It's not.
guys, I'm back. Free trust equals Danity. Danity was such a popular wig. I'm pretty sure it was 2014 when it was popular. I think so. And everybody loved it. Um, I liked it, but I remember it did not last very long, even though I loved the color back then. The color that I have is OH2730613. I loved this particular blonde mix because it had a dark root, but it had such variation within the blonde. I like warm blondes. I don't really do like 613s. It has some 613 in it, but it's mixed within a overall more warm kind of blonde. I can see why people still love Danity all the way into 2021 because I, I still see like some reviews pop up every now and then of Danity or Alpine Meadow or Alpine Meadow which was by Model Model. Model Bono, Model Model and Free Trash used to drop the same wig at the same time just with a different name. So if you couldn't find you know Danity back then some some people would get Alpine Meadow. That's how it used to be. It is more on the silky side and it does have a smaller cap. Um, so I'm not like this is not a wig that I would reach for with this particular color. But I think I might, I don't know if I might, I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I feel like this is like a, I don't know, like a, like a seven and a half, eight. Cause it is pretty. It's just, I don't know. I'm not like crazy about it, but I'm not mad at it. I just don't know if I'm crazy about it. So, all right guys. So that was all the throwback wigs I wanted to show you guys and try again in 2021. Um, I actually liked a lot of them still so my favorite I think is this one actually because I feel like I'm gonna actually reach for this and wear this every day it's just easy and I love this subtle brown color and how lightweight this is and the length um, I'm probably gonna try to curve the part because this is a straight part but not a big deal and out of all the bobs that I tried I really like Altre Daria but she's she's basically almost headed to being discontinued because the last time I checked on Sam's Beauty, they only had her in one color. So that's unfortunate. Maybe I'll trail see this video and maybe revamp her because she's actually a really nice bob. She looks really good, really pretty. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more content like this. Or tell me like the kinds of content you would like to see featuring certain wigs, whether they are synthetic or human hair. You can certainly leave those suggestions in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.